into Lubin for the first time this is what you see and you can see right there is the school on the right um, outhouse on the left and then if you go beyond there's individual houses and over there is the beginning of a new mission house and right in front of it is where everybody plays socks and yes they do sleep in the back of the classroom and this is where I slept, and of course we're under mosquito nets. And then they move these, these are their tables. They sit down and then the desk is in front and they move them out for church and back in the classroom. And this is their chalkboard. And right outside, the sky is intense under this canopy to keep it a little bit cool. And if you keep going, that red basket you put your, over your food to keep the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, this is to keep the mosquitoes away. And flies. <laughs> and flies. And we come in here, and this, you might have noticed, is the church. You hear the birds. The birds are just right there having their nest. In fact, there was a nest in our room. And so we got to hear the birds flitting around while we were sleeping. And it was actually quite lovely. And I'm coming out from here into what was... Pastor Bo's house, the attached house right here. Bonsoir. I'm coming in. Bonsoir. 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 I'm coming in to show that this is the house that Pastor Bo used to live in. And this is Pastor Bo's house. And you can see the mud on the outside, that's how they, that's the finishing. But this is an unusual house. It's a sandbag house. And he got a couple guys to help him and it's just built completely with sandbags left. This one is about a thousand dollars to make. He left one that was about seven thousand dollars. And this is the school from a distance. And this is the back side of that house. And coming around here is the clinic. Right here is the clinic. I was coming here in September, and when I was coming, we was start with two little table here. And after when we was working, I was trying to speak with uh, two carpenters to become here to make. This is the justice house that YWAM puts up for fresh water and these are blackboards for the school and it's kind of sad because they actually have to have four classrooms in here. Mm -hmm. Person. in the church, in the church. and share the space. Mm -hmm. I just love it if they could have their own classrooms. And this is the back side of the school building and look what we have here. A pig and rooster and chicken, another pig. Uh, a lot of people talk about Haiti and then they say that there's a lot of witchcraft and voodoo down here. And that's true. When you come down here and you see it, you can stand right next to a witch doctor and you just know he has no power because you belong to Jesus and the, the, the spirit of God is so much more powerful than any spirit uh, of voodoo. Through the village and I was surprised that they have horses here. Yes, this yes. is the river. <laughs> it's beautiful. Pastor Bo has built five of these uh, pumps with houses, and it is his 
basin to build two or three more uh, that way because they don't have any. <laughs> garden where they grow uh, different kind of herbs and uh, spices like uh, basil and oregano and whatever they need to, to put in the food. Oh, can you imagine seeing this every day? Shakina in Pastor Bo's house. You want to say hello to? Say bonjour. How are you, Jenny? Good, how are you? Are you happy to be here? I'm so happy to be here. Oh, huh? yeah. Ready? Oui. 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 Okay. Oh, 